We read in today's newspapers another leak from the Abbott government about proposals for further cuts to the Australian aid budget. It seems that the Foreign Minister is once again in the dark about cuts in her portfolio. And we read in the papers today that this will be the fourth lot of cuts to Australia's foreign aid budget. Uh, we've had two lots of mid-year economic and fiscal outlook cuts, one lot of budget cuts already, and it looks like there's a second lot of budget cuts coming. Um, you could see from the expression on the Foreign Minister's face when Joe Hockey started talking about the Expenditure Review Committee uh, how disturbed she was about the um, proposals or the leaked proposals for further cuts in her portfolio area. This comes after more than $11 billion has already been cut from Australia's aid budget, taking it to the lowest, weakest aid budget that Australia has ever seen. Taking our region alone, the Asia-Pacific region, one year's lot of cuts is worth $110 million. That gives you some idea of the scale in our region. It means that even the poorest countries in our region, countries like Timor-Leste, are experiencing substantial cuts of many millions of dollars. And this comes at a time, of course, when the Foreign Minister has been kept in the dark about other issues in her portfolio area too. She was kept in the dark about uh, the replacement of her parliamentary secretary. She woke up one morning with a new parliamentary secretary that no one had bothered to discuss with her. She was prevented in the first instance from going to Lima to represent Australia at climate change talks and later was only allowed to go when she was chaperoned by Andrew Robb. It is extraordinary that after all of the cuts made uh, in the Foreign Minister's portfolio area, she's still prepared to go out and defend these vicious cuts and the effect that they have in reducing Australia's ability to be a um, substantial player internationally and in our region in the area of development assistance.